Look what we have here. My goodness. This is a car that I've wanted to shoot for a while. This was actually on the, the SEMA show floor at the Toyo Tire booth. My good buddy, Alan, built it and it is awesome. And we had a chance to shoot it today. It sounds so good too. And this guy also is the wheel man. You drive it, huh? Yes, sir. So what is it? It's poor spider, crazy, <laughs> obnoxious, you know, in your face, loud. What made you want to build this thing? I've always had fast cars, been into a, you know, adrenaline junkie, just want to go fast and... All right, so you, you guys may have seen some of the other cars that, is, it's, it's like S-Club, right? Or yes. Or uh, Slang 500. S-Club. S-Club. So S-Club is the shop and they're kind of local to where I am, but we've been featuring their cars. In fact, we launched this channel with one of their more famous cars, which is the Mercedes SL, right? Yep. Oh, there you go, the S Club. But now you have this awesome thing that you actually built for yourself. You, you've been enjoying it. You've been driving it around Southern California. Let's, let's kind of go over this thing. So as, as it sits right here, when we're shooting this thing just now, I can't tell you how many people stopped us and they're like, what is that? Oh my God, that thing is crazy. I mean, it, it's a showstopper. It has all of the touches that you guys are actually famous for, but you did something else different with this one. You, you have a very interesting motor in this. Yeah, the Subaru WRX, the 2.0, Japanese so, one. Oh, okay, so it actually came out of the WRX in Japan. Correct. This motor was never available here in the US. No. Oh. Alan is lifting the hatch right now. Oh, it is crazy. So it's a hydraulic system? Actuators. Oh, it's actuators, okay. So it's still electric. Oh. We want the chance of more leaks. No more leaks. All right, so tell us a little bit about this motor. It's a two liter flat four. Flat four, WRX out of the 2002, 2005. Uh, has iWire, full wire, custom wire harness. Wisecraft did all my titanium. Dom from Chasing Jays did all my coloring on the titanium. And then again- Wait, what part is titanium? All the intercooler piping, all the turbo piping, a pipe. Amazing. Fully custom. And what kind of turbo is it? Garrett GTX 2860R. Mm. I wanted a small one so it'd have the RPMs. You know, I wouldn't have the boost lag, I just instant power and it's boosting at 1500 RPMs already. Wow. So there's no boost lag in this one. What kind of power does this make then to the ground? 370 horsepower on E85. What? It sounds incredible, really. So we're, we'll, uh, don't worry, we'll rev it up for you and we'll all ask, actually take it for a ride in a second after we go over this. <laughs> so what made you want to do a two liter flat four out of a WRX? I just wanted the reliability, honestly. It's, the carbureted, you always have carburetor issues with the Type 4s, so Subaru, I can start it up anytime, cold start, hot weather, you know, it's just reliable. 
And uh, what en engine management are you running? Haltech, one of the best. Uh, these are water jet cut? Or? Yeah, laser jet. Yeah, laser jet cut. All the little things that you guys do in terms of like um, that steampunk vibe. Yeah, I fully hand polished this whole chassis. So you're a little less selfish, right? So you have two seats, unlike... Yeah, I want to scare some people. <laughs> yeah, unlike the other one that uh, John actually, or, or you and John built together. Yeah, the, the center seat was awesome. <laughs> it didn't last long, though. It's gone already. Well, this one's still around. It's always about the little accessories that these guys do. I mean, like, look at these little stopwatches. Uh, that kind of 917 inspired shift knob. Oh, always with the money. Because this thing, this thing is money for sure. You know, uh, one of the things I really like about this build is how finished this is uh, <laughs> the radiator, right? Correct. So it's crazy to me how finished all of this is. Like the fact that you have tartan <laughs> like covering it is so cool. So the air goes in from here. Yeah, we cut a hole in the front. Oh. And it cools it. Oh, yeah. There's more water in it than a normal Subaru just because of the lines. There's right. about 30 feet of line in it, so. Oh. About double the capacity of the fluids. All the little things that you've done to finish it off, I mean, like, that's the brake. Yeah, it just covers the. Yeah. <laughs> brake master cylinder. Even underneath the hood, all of that finished. So you're running E85. Correct. Did you guys have to custom make that fuel cell? Yeah, it's it's actual 550 Porsche, you know, the gas tank, but we had to cut it up to put the center cap in and then, yeah, the fuel sending unit. So then, oh, the intercooler is back here. Okay. Oh, so this is actually functional, right? Here, yes, I guns. built those. We had them laser jetted, then I hand built, bent them. and Wow. So, so pull in air into the motor. And then tell me about the transmission then. Transmission's type four, four speed, built, of course, to handle the horsepower. And then, yeah, it's rated for 160. The gear ratio, I can top out at 160. Hmm, wow. This, that's gotta, it's gotta be so scary it's at that kind of It's a little gnarly. I've, I've took it about 120, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be so many bugs in your face with this little You just windshield. sit real low, you yeah. know? <laughs> you, you hide behind the windshield, yeah. you're good. Oh, awesome. I love it. I, I love the way that the, the, like this, you guys finished this. Um, rhino lined it, yeah. Rhino lighting, okay. Oh man, I love it. Oh yeah, look at that. It has the Volkswagen, the Volkswagen Audi group, the badge, everything over here. That's so cool. Of course you have HRE wheels. They came out and did that custom. Yeah. What size are these? 17s. The setup is just so pretty looking. I absolutely love it. Yeah, we had to compensate for all the hubs and everything. It's like no stone unturned over here in terms of like making it look nice. Look at the transmission. Like how long did it take just to make the transmission look that good? That was a full two days. <laughs> Brushing and polishing. So tell me a little bit about the interior. Interior is uh, stainless steel floors. I hand drilled them and dimple dyed them myself. Uh, I added the copper trim with all the rivets, going for that uh, more aircraft theme, you know, but keep it real classy and subtle. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what about the steering wheel? Steering wheel is a Budnick. They custom made those one off for these two cars that we bring to SEMA. Mm. And what about the seats? Seats are original. We just did our custom interior touch. Let's check this out here. So this is another reason why I really like uh, the builds that you guys do. The fact that the door on the inside is finished with the same material is it's really, really cool. I love that pedal setup too. Just amazing. Huh. A little wood on the dash. This thing is just so cool. One of the cool things is uh, a lot of their builds that they do, it's this uh, cement paint, right? It's actually a Toyota color. This, this one's Nardo, oh, okay. Nardo gray. But oh. yeah, a lot of them we use, you know, the Toyotas, the Gullwing. Uh, the grays just go with a lot of, you know, everything. All our interiors, 
This is just so wild. Yeah, I just, you know, the motor is just my vocal point. I wanted a lot of horsepower, light car, make a race car. And so like the theme with a lot of the cars that you guys build, it's just like wild and crazy style, but they're mostly cruisers, right? Pretty much, yeah. But this one, at least in my eyes, is the first one that's maybe performance first. Yes. But also... Of course. That's where I'm, I come in and, you know, try to finesse John into, let's add some horsepower to these cars. Yeah. Give it a little more oomph because we already make them super, you know, detailed, orientated. But if we have more horsepower, it's just... Well, can you start it up and let's, let's hear it. All right. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, that thing is right behind your head. Yeah, it's the passengers say it's a little loud, but <laughs> I don't hear it. I'm just enjoying the drive. Yeah. <laughs> That actually does sound like a Subaru. That's the funniest thing. Straight like, pipe turbo. It sounds like a Subaru, but then I look at it and it's a Porsche. <laughs> Rev it again. Oh my God, that thing is hilarious. We definitely have to go for a ride. That is so cool. to go for a ride. This thing is absolutely insane. Alright, so door handles here. Look at this cute little door. <laughs> Where do I step? Just anywhere here? Anywhere it's cool, yeah. Oh my goodness. Damn. Oh -ho! dude this thing is off the hook this thing is so cool oh my god that's right behind my head that ready? sounds amazing let's do it <laughs> ready so he's got some uh am full-on game oh. <laughs> that is so cool oh yeah so my buddy john sabal actually rendered this thing he actually yeah. designed it then yeah that is so cool I feel so low. It's like really, really, really low to the ground. Yeah. Oh my God. Even a Toyota Camry will look big. Yeah, everything will look big. Seriously, like the turbo is right. Oh. It's right behind my head. <laughs> it's all right, you'll be all right. The clutch is pretty easy, huh? Yeah, and it's four speed, so you can just, they're real long gears. Now 
Is it that loud? It's like the turbo is right next to my head. Is it loud? It's loud. <laughs> it sounds good though. It's okay. It sounds really good. It's uh, it's definitely loud. Oh my god. pretty crazy <laughs> my head is about to explode and my ears are ringing my bad no 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 it's cool <laughs> it's definitely an experience I've never I've never experienced this before it's so crazy I mean it's a little bit of everything it's fast you got the wind in your hair and it's so loud but it sounds good on top of that legit everybody is looking at you <laughs> like paying attention to the road yeah a lot of horsepower to handle yeah and that's kind of the thing is you didn't even go full throttle right no that's probably quarter throttle i mean just just a little bit of throttle it's got to be such a handful just to floor it in this thing oh yeah you better hold on tight <sighs> this thing is incredible you, you guys built a really really beautiful car thank, thank you. you so much for bringing it out for us today thank you that's a wrap <laughs>